50 years after the planning of the Poor People's Campaign, I think he would be very disturbed and very disappointed because he said then that economic injustice was a scar on the soul of America. And if we're going to redeem the soul of America, we have to get rid of economic injustice, we have to get rid of poverty, we have to get rid of slum conditions, and we, had to, we have to educate the poor and get them beyond this, this, this deprivation syndrome, this sun, syndrome of, of victimization mm -hmm. that is associated with this problem of slum conditions mm -hmm. and economic insecurity. Murder rates, yes. and violence, If you see in Chicago and... now, the, the Chicago Freedom Movement in which Dr. King was involved started in 1966, mm -hmm. spilled over into early 1967, we're talking about 50 years later, and look mm -hmm. at the murder rate in Chicago, mm -hmm. as you said. Mm -hmm. And all of that stems from environmental conditions yes. and mm -hmm. poverty mm -hmm. and, and the lack of jobs, jobs. Mm -hmm. and that kind Homes of thing. So, yeah. so, so we may stride in the area of economic injustice and the fight against poverty, but we have a long way to go. But you know, it seems to me that it would be much more cost efficient mm -hmm. to create a situation in many of these uh, urban areas yes. that would uh, bring about a better, because it's, it's, it's a very, very expensive proposition exactly. to try to control crime. Uh, the millions of dollars you have to spend for body cameras yeah. and all, and all of that. I mean, that, that's an expense that could be perhaps better directed towards some, but perhaps people think too much of a, a socialized society. Some exactly. They, they fear socialization of society. But hopefully with the appointment of uh, Dr. Ben Carson as HUD mm -hmm. uh, Director of Housing and Urban Development, mm -hmm. uh, hopefully that will bring some changes in terms of addressing the kind mm -hmm. of issues that Dr. King felt were very, very mm -hmm. important, that President Johnson felt were important. Mm -hmm in terms of educating slum dwellers, in terms of providing health care for the poor, mm -hmm. and in terms of providing jobs and economic opportunities for the poor. We don't know where that's going. Mm -hmm. But I think, uh, you know, with the appointment of uh, Ben Carson, hopefully mm -hmm. uh, who knows? we'll that, move closer have, to the realization right, you, of you, Dr. King. Who Green. knows? You know, you never can tell. Exactly. Life <laughs> works in strange and difficult exactly, situations. Exactly, exactly. You never can tell. Exactly. See, and, 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 but God knows. Yeah, but. He, and, and I think as a minister, you understand how yeah. very, very important it is to exactly. understand that God knows and that yeah. somebody's going to come out of this thing and somebody's going to help not only Africans, but all people yes, who yes. find themselves in need and, and who find, find themselves with their backs up against the wall. Yeah, right? but we need to realize that Dr. King's dream as far as the fight against poverty and economic injustice has not yet been realized. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And that it's up to us to bring about the realization mm -hmm. of that dream. And we ought to talk about it more. Yes. Yeah, I think that the more... At yeah, all levels of society. At all levels of in society. In the churches, mm -hmm. in, in government, in, mm -hmm. in our uh, community centers, everywhere you look, mm -hmm. educational institutions, mm -hmm. we need to discuss these issues and, re and come to some sense of what is our responsibility, well, our moral uh -huh. responsibility. Uh -huh in terms of, of moving toward the realization of Dr. King's dream. What is good for me yes. is good for you. Yes, is that, yes. Is, I, And I think that if yes. we take that attitude, I think we might be able to move. Yes, and I cannot be what I ought to be, Dr. Without, King said, until you are who uh, you well, ought to be. That's right. That's right. And, yes. I, and, and I think that you've laid a, a good foundation and a good yes. understanding. Yes. And if people not only pay attention to what you're saying, but mm. to read the multitude of books yeah, yeah, that you've you. already written in reference thank to you. the same subject. Thank and let you. me thank you, Dr. Baldwin. Thank you. And let me encourage our audience to uh, tune in again next week for another informative edition of Comments. Thank, thank you, you and good morning. Thank you.